Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we got some projects that we've got going on and some projects that we're wrapping up and I'm gonna bring you along to show you what everybody's working on. So this is the project that I'm working on. I'm cutting and splitting this wood. I have these three bigger logs to do yet. Cut them up and split them. There he goes. Hi. Hi. See the engine? Sure. What do you got? This is the engine to the... Oh, hey. Um, this is the engine to the semi. All taken out, put on a stand, it's ready to go for sale. That's what they're doing. They've been working on that a little bit here and there. This is what's left of the, the semi. Not much. For the last couple days, they've been working on this project, which is a hay wagon. Or was, was I supposed to say it's a hay wagon? Yeah. Alright, it's a hay wagon. It's actually, yeah, it'll be a big bale wagon, what they call it. Oh. For round bales? Round bales or squares. Either or. Yeah. So Let's this turn, is, what? Turn it out pretty good. Yeah, looks good. This is the running gear that we um, bought and then we took the box off of it and we're uh, making a hay wagon out of it getting it ready to sell so that's what they've been doing it hasn't taken too long yesterday they put all the i-beams in place and ethan's been welding that together so that's his his project kind of I'm getting there but I'm getting warm so I've got a little ways to go yet Kevin's helped me by cutting some of this wood for me um, I don't mind splitting the wood but cutting it with the chainsaw it's not my favorite mainly because I tend to cut it crooked I don't know if it's the way I hold the saw or what but I like splitting it so I'll split it and he'll cut it and that makes pretty good so team effort here so this all ran out of fuel I ran out of fuel no it's really nice out today so um, the Sun is really warm actually even though it's probably 35 degrees it's, it's nice out anyway I'm gonna keep working at this well that looks like a mess doesn't it not for long we're gonna pick this up and Check it by the house. This is how much wood I got cut and chopped today. I am going to be stacking it here with the rest of what I already have stacked. Um, We'll see how far this lasts us. Hopefully it will last us through the winter, but Kevin thinks it will go way beyond that because I have, um, there's two rows of this, probably five feet tall. I don't know. I just don't think it's going to last as long as Kevin does. So we'll wait and see, I guess. And for anybody who is wondering, no, wood heat is not our only source of heat in our home. We have a natural gas furnace in our, in our home. But the little fireplace that we have, 
Um, it's kind of like a hot spot for us. So if somebody's really cold, they can come in and warm up by the fire. Plus, I personally like the feel of wood heat. I just think it's so warm and I just like it. So I'm pretty much in charge of the um, fireplace in the house. Um, sometimes Sanders will help me with it, but for the most part, this whole wood burning fireplace, chopping wood, is up to me because I like it. And I'm not sure if we'd have a fireplace if if I didn't like wood. I don't know. There we go, that's the wood pile for this year. I'll probably cut some more a little later, but not today. Got too warm. Anyway, so we'll see how long this lasts us. Stacking job isn't the greatest, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Not to me. drives it in the grass is because he doesn't want little stones from the driveway or the road to uh, to ding up the paint job so that's why he's driving it in the yard how's it going oh. how's it looking Next project that we're working on is moving our dry cows into a, a different paddock. Um, the pasture that the the pasture that they've been in, they've been in for a week or so. Got it pretty much cleaned up. So we'll switch them around. Keep them, keep the ladies happy. And since we've had such nice weather, the grass has still kind of been green and growing a little bit, anyways. So there's a little bit out here for them to eat. Plus it gives them lots of exercise so that the cows don't get fat. <laughs> we don't want fat cows. So what you doing? You, uh, we got to mow some fence or? No, just switch out. Oh, just switching. Switch out and uh, yeah. So they're gonna go in this paddock out here. I should probably stand somewhere else. I never know where to stand. Oh, this heifer just knows right where to go. Yeah. Go ahead. Just need one liter. Oh, the other cows are all jealous. And yes, we still have that ball. He'll be the next one to get rid of, right dear? He, like, he likes to talk. Yeah, but they've always said talk is better than hurt my own. Yeah, well, I'm not a real fan of being proved right or wrong in that. Yeah, make yourself heard. Will the bull even walk by us? No. He won't? Ooh, they're all coming towards me. 
What you doing, girls? Oh, er, put on the brakes. I think we'll get on the other side of the fence. I don't like sharing pastures with the bull. They kind of follow each other. So basically we leave these cows out on pasture year round as long as they can get outside. Um, sometimes in the winter they're not going to go outside but sometimes they do. We always try to make it so that they can get out and get their exercise even during the winter months. Although a lot of the times like it, when it's cold out or if it's windy, when it's snowing or raining, those are the times that they don't really like to go outside so they're going to stay inside. But for today it's a beautiful day and they're all going to be outside enjoying the weather enjoy it while it lasts because it's not going to last forever all right i'm going to head back to the barn see what kevin's doing <laughs> 